I hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll be going over a website audit I did for a company by the name of ODC Training Solutions. This uh, doing this audit, I went through its SEO optimizations, its server configuration, uh, what uh, what's the basic structure like, and everything in between. So let's start with the domain strength. Currently, uh, the domain is pretty new and the strength level is pretty weak, but they are working on it and hopefully this will get better. One thing I would suggest is to get a proper site uh, uh, agent submission on Yahoo and Bing because it's very scattered right now. Google is much better in recognizing the pages, but Yahoo and Bing need help. So if they have a search console that can actually regulate this, that would be very great. Another thing is that they don't have a, a analytics properly set up on their website so if they could look into it that would be great as well. Broken, on the broken link front the website is doing pretty well they don't have any broken links apart from a few uh, uh, standard issues with the URLs that can be easily fixed. On the uh, SEO end, uh, there's a lot of things that they could improve on. For example, a lot of pages are missing titles, H1 headings, meta description, and other things of the sort. So if they could, you know, look into it, uh, filling those specific areas with good, uh, high quality content and with uh, relevant uh, keywords, that would really help their ranking on Google as well. And another thing is that they need to reduce a certain uh, type of scripts uh, that will actually help in their performance, website performance, and overall is a website structure as well. The website is performing pretty well. It's currently at B grade, but it can still be improved and easily uh, reach A grade if they look into it. All they need to do is optimize their images and uh, do a better uh, pay uh, payload delivery. Like I said before, they currently have enormous network payloads that uh, overall uh, hinders the performance of the website. So if they could look into it and you know optimize it better, then it would easily give them the rank A. Uh, on the pages and they have a, a few issues. For example, on this uh, particular page, in services to diversity inclusion, the page doesn't has any title, no description, no H1 heading, no content at all. Just a video uh, which plays on YouTube server. Another uh, page that had an error was the download capability statement page. Uh, the page is an uh, empty page or full of page could also be set by this. And they either need to uh, remove this page entirely or they could also you know add some element content here to help their overall status and all the number links on the website are not working i don't know whether they why they didn't link it properly but uh, if you click on any number it won't be either either it won't be clickable or if it is clickable it will be just redirecting to the same page and there are some uh, basic grammatical error for example uh, the m is capital in email it should be just e capital and mail like that or something of that sort but these are uh, just a few things that they could you know look look into to make it more professional when it comes to overall quality structure of the website they, these are the things that are currently affecting it on the accessibility front <coughs> Uh, uh, which is a very important uh, uh, parameter for Google ranking they need to add these certain things for example they need to add alternate text to their images uh, placeholders duplicate IDs should be taken care of headings should be better on the search engine front they don't have uh, they are violating a lot of things and if they could you know look into improving that this would really help in their search engine game uh, search optimization and if they want I could also help with that uh, basically moving forward in the compatibility error uh, this these are made so the website looks good on all fronts whether it's on Safari or mobile or on Chrome whatever browser or machine you're using in order to make it look or good uh, make it uh, seem good on all platforms these are some things that need to be taken care of and they are failing in these things when it, it comes to usability error the errors are very minute but uh, still they could look into it and make it you know perform better 
and when I come uh, towards uh, WordPress, the WordPress is very outdated. It needs to be updated as soon as possible because it causes a uh, lots of security and compatibility as in the long run. Same thing with the plugins. Almost 20 to 23 plugins need to be updated as soon as possible. And by doing this, this would really help in their asset performance and ranking. And also uh, the overall uh, server performance would in, uh, uh, improve as well. Like I said before, the uh, Elementor and theme needs to be updated as well uh, for security reasons and, and that's all. Uh, by doing this, this would really help in the website security and the chances of them getting hacked or you know, a comfortable uh, website structure would be very minute. Uh, because in this outdated technologies, there is a lot of uh, gaps th that could be exploited in, uh, you know, in order to hack their website. I would like to thank you all for your time period and if you need help with any of these do let me know at the number or email below I would lo love to help you out with this and looking forward to talking to you guys in the future have a great day bye